So, the other day, I was sitting and, you know, reflecting on my college experience, because I'm a junior technically now, and I really, I just got kind of upset because, like, I, there's so many things that I wish I would have known at 18, and about college and life, and obviously, like, I couldn't have known, because it takes, you know, time to learn, but I figured, why not, like, tell you guys what I wish I would have known, and maybe... Uh, it'll help you guys make decisions on college and, you know, stuff like that. Kind of scary stuff. I'm not that wise. I'm still learning. But, um, first thing first. When I was looking for colleges, I kind of had like a vague idea of what I wanted to do. I was like, oh, I kind of like photography. I was also really interested in Spanish for some reason, and I wanted a double major. So I started looking into schools, but honestly, I kind of just looked into one school, which was Ball State University. And I only visited that one school. And just from that one tour, I was just kind of like, okay, this works. And I just chose it and I applied and I got in and I went. But what I really wish I would have done is like look around. I really wish I would have visited some art schools because I mean, that's where I am now. I transferred. And I honestly, I honestly didn't think I would ever be like a transfer student. And here I am. And so many people are. So definitely look around before you make a decision. One thing I wish I would have uh, done differently about going to college for my first year, to honestly, do not have a boyfriend going into school. Like, I know that you love him and it's so perfect and we were together all high school and blah, 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 but honestly, no. I spent a lot of my freshman year wishing I was with him and visiting him and never being there on the weekends because we would go see each other and I missed out on a lot of like potential friendships and parties and just like now is the time for you to kind of be selfish not like not selfish in like that horrible aspect but selfish in a way that it's your time to make make new friends and experience new things don't be like I know love is important but honestly it no at least I got this from like, having a boyfriend for my first semester, you know? There's a, there's a few benefits, but I don't know. Dr. Lake, are you going to decide to go to the school that you want to go to that's kind of far away from your family or friends or your boyfriend? Or are you going to say, well, my boyfriend's in town at home, and so maybe I'll just go to a community school and not go to my dream school? Please. If your boyfriend really loves you, he'll let you go to that school and you will do the best you can at that awesome dream school that you wanted to go to. Don't let people hold you back. Go and you experience the best thing that you can do. If you got into that freaking awesome school, you go. You go, girl. Do it. Do your thing. I'm sorry. I am just crazy today. <laughs> but... Oh, drink lots of coffee in school, by the way. If you don't like coffee, start liking it now. You better start. Or tea, at least. Do some tea. But coffee, seriously, it'll get you through the day. Respect yourself. Don't date any guys in college that don't respect their mother. They won't respect you. And... Yeah, drink your coffee. Oh, also, your first year, try not to go home too much. Like... I know that you're going to be like, oh, I miss my mom, I miss my dogs, my cat is like crying without me, but like, try try to stay there, because that's when you meet friends, and if you're, are you going to be known as the girl who's always home, and so nobody wants to invite you out, like, I went home, like, if I wasn't visiting my boyfriend at the time, my freshman year, I was going home, and I had like this fear of then staying there. Because, like, who did I even know? I knew my family because I was visiting them, and I knew my boyfriend because I was visiting him. So my suggestion is stay at school. Like, do, do the college experience. If you're going to do it, then do it. Stay there. You go to that party. You drink that jungle juice. Um, be careful with the jungle juice. Don't, listen, don't, don't really listen to me, but if you want to, I mean, you can. But. And also, if you guys want to, like, ask me anything about where I go now, to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, feel free to send me an email at annarossett at gmail.com. I'll also link that in the box down here. Like, I am so open to answering any of your guys' questions about school and life in general or, like, boy problems. Like, bring it at me. Bring it on. So, yeah. I hope this was helpful. You guys have a great day.
Love you guys. I love you guys. Sorry, I always have to, like, get really close at the end of these, I feel like, because it's just, like, you know, it's, like, personal. We just had a moment. Like, you just listened to me for this long, so you, like, just wanted to say that I love you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Bye!